this release, we have a few important behind the scenes updates. Arrows and editors are improved. We've improved the web API error handling. We have a new PDF rendering engine, a new image format support, and we've improved image processing in general. From this release on, when you have arrows going back and forth, like here, there's less overlap in the arrows. More importantly, when you remove an item in the flow part, automation flow, or user flow editor, the arrow leading to the item will stay in place. Previously, the arrow would be removed and if you had a page button with a rule or a path after a decision, your rule would be removed too. That is now a thing of the past. We have made another small improvement in the Web API error handling in case of 500 errors. If the server sends a 500 to 599 status code and sends data in JSON format, you can now use that data in your flow part. This is a very exceptional case, as usually these errors mean that something went wrong on the server and no data could be sent. We have completely replaced the PDF rendering engine, which will result in faster PDF generation, especially when you're using charts in your PDF documents. Image support has been extended with newer formats, such as WebP and HikeHive. On top of more formats being supported, we have also improved our image processing logic, which should result in faster image loading overall.